Hello YouTube and guess what we're going to explore today. We're going to explore Pinwheel Forest. Because of course we need to get that fossil head back. The fossil head that Team Plasma stole. Team Plasma is never up to no good. I mean, up to no good ever. Well, you get the point anyway. We're going to go to Pinwheel Forest and we're going to get that fossil back. And we're going to return it to the Nakun City Museum. The place where it belongs. So, I just finished healing up my Pokemon and we're going to go to Pinwheel Forest. So, here's um, Berg and he's going to go in and we're going to follow him because he probably has a plan. So, let's enter Pinwheel Forest. Pretty nice place, huh? So here he is. So there's two ways out. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna go up and we're gonna take the other route. And we're gonna eliminate Team Plasma members to find out who has the fossil. So we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna switch up my Pokemon. Put the weak ones first, the ones we need training, and then we're going to be ready to face the twins. These twins right here. So, Sawaddle, Sawaddle. Two twin Sawaddles on level 16. And I'm going to send out my Pins here, my Herdy here, level 15, level 16. And. My herd deer is going to go for takedown on the first Swaddle, and Pantsir is going to go for incinerate on both Swaddles, and he's going to take out the first one. So now Pantsir is going to go for Fury Swipes. And my Herdier is going to go for Bite. I should have gone for a takedown on Herdier. I don't know why I went for Bite. But we're going to win anyways. Fury Swipes. Yep, they're gone. They were so waddled. So. There you go. We beat these two twins. Twins so waddle people. I don't know. Anyway, now we're going to go down here. We're going to face Team Plasma. Well, one Team Plasma Grunt. And he's going to challenge us to a duel. Pokemon duel. So he has a sand dial. Level 16. Sand dial is a ground dark Pokemon. I know he's ground for sure. I'm not sure if he's dark. I think he's dark. But he goes for torment. And I think that means I can't use the same move twice in a row. But I'm going to go for incinerate. Berry? Nope, no berry. Um, he's going to go for sand tomb. And I get trapped in sand tomb and my orange berry restores my HP. So now I go for fury swipes. And I get four hits on him. And now my pain here is affected by sand tomb. So sand dial goes for a sand attack. My accuracy falls, I go for incinerate. And I'm hurt by sand tomb again. Yeah, I can't use the same move twice in a row because I forgot. So he goes for assurance. And I'm once again hurt by sand tomb. So at this point, I just decide to go. Hold on, let me see. Okay, I'm going to use a super potion actually. I'm not going to use a move. Because if I use a move, I'm going to die. So he goes for assurance. And he gets a critical hit on me. Which makes my potion useless. I pretty much just use the potion for nothing. So, sand tomb. And my paint here is gone. That was an epic fail. That was the biggest fail for my paint here.
But whatever. So I send out Dwat. Dwat goes for Razor Shell. He goes for another Sand Tomb. So my Dwat is trapped in Sand Tomb as well. So I'm gonna trap my new Razor Shell move and super effective to finish off. And there you have it. We defeated this annoying Team Grunt guy or whatever he is so here's another team plasma person and of course like always they're going to challenge us to a battle because they have nothing better to do so we're challenged by another team plasma person and purloin they're gonna send out a purloin on level 16 and we're gonna send out my new evolved herdier that evolved a few episodes ago i think last episode i don't know but anyways he's gonna go for fury swipes and he's gonna get three hits on me and i'm gonna go for takedown and i'm going to one hit ko the purloin recoil damage orn berry restores my health and my herdier gains 269 experience points and grows to level 17 that was a fast battle quick and easy quick and easy battle so this person doesn't have the fossil so but we still need to keep looking because the fossil needs to be somewhere around here so we just found a super potion and I'm going to use a repel so I won't bump into any wild Pokemon so okay there's nothing down there dead end let's go to this guy over here and let's challenge him to a battle so we're challenged by this ranger guy and he has a herd here as well his herd is on level 18 and my herd is on level 17 so his herd here goes for takedown and I go for takedown and recoil damage is going to kill me so my herdier fainted and now I'm going to switch into my song so I'm going to go for low sweep and I'm going to take out his herdier and my song is going to grow to level 18 And the person is going to give us a Chesto Berry. So let's keep exploring. So that was a moss covered rock. There was nothing under there. So. Ooh, let's see what this is. It's a pan pour. A wild pan pour on level 15. I don't know if I should capture this. I probably won't capture it. I'll just kill it. Make it faint. So, uh, this wild pain pour goes for lick and paralyzes my d -watt. And I go for razor shell. Okay, so it's not very effective, but it still did a good amount of damage. And now pain pour goes for water gun. So pain pour goes for yet another water gun. Not very effective though, and I go for a razor shell. And I finish off Pampor. So that ends the wild battle there. And now I'm just going to check some stuff here. Actually, I'm going to heal my Pokemon. Some of these Pokemon need healing. And I think this is another battle. Yep another battle so we're challenged by youngster Nicholas or yeah so he has a venipede, a venipede on level 16 and I want to send him my DY which is about to level up so venipede goes for poison sting and I go for razor shell and I get a one hit KO a critical hit and 
that was pretty much it, so my d -Wonk goes to level 18. And he's gonna send in a Timber. And I'm going to switch out. I'm going to switch out into Sock. So I'm going to go for a double kick. And I get two hits on him, of course. And he goes for a low kick. And I go for a low sweep. Okay, so we're going to continue here to the forest and we encounter a ranger hidden in bushes. So we're challenged by a ranger, Audra, and Pan Sage. She has a Pan Sage on level 18 and I'm going to send out my d -Wan. I'm at a type advantage, but I'm still going to go for it anyway. And super effective, didn't do much damage. I go for Razor Shell. Not very effective, but I did lower Pan Sage's defense. And Pan Sage goes for another Vine Whip. And my D-Watch survives. And my Ornberry heals me, and I go for Razor Shell. And I finish off Pan Sage. So we just obtained a Chesto Berry. And Okay, so okay, we can't get that Pokeball. So let's just move on. So okay, my repel wore off. Let's use another repel. Okay there, so now that we have a repel on, we can go and encounter the next trainer, another ranger. Come on. So, there's a lot of rangers in this forest, a lot of Pokemon, and a lot of them have monkeys. As you can see, this one has a Panpour. We already fought a Pantsinger and we fought a Pantsinger, so we encountered level 18 monkeys here in this forest. So. Anyway, my sock goes for low sweep, and I get a critical hit, and I one hit KO the pain pour. and my sock goes to level 19. Pretty easy battle right there, and I defeat the player with this trainer, and this trainer is going to give us a berry. Just like all rangers do, they give us berries, and this one gave me a peach berry. So, peach berry, let's put it in our bag, and let's move on. Oh, and look who we found. We found a Team Plasma Grunt. So you made it this far. I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. Not so fast, Team Plasma Grunt. So, I'm not sure if this guy has the fossil. He probably has it. He probably doesn't. But we're going to battle him anyways because that's just what we do. Me and my Pokemon, we battle people. So, I'm going to send out my sock. And I'm going to go for low sweep. And to one hit kill Patra. And we defeated the Plasma Grin. So he said he was here to buy time, but I do not believe him. I do not believe he was here to buy time. So we find a paralyzed heal, put that in our bag. And another trainer hidden in the bushes. These rangers are very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. So, we're challenged by Ranger Miguel. And he has a pantsier. Another monkey person. So, I'm going to send out my sock. My sock's already on level 19. He has a lot of experience. So, low sweep. Pantsier's speed goes down. He goes for Incinerate. 
And I go for double click. So now he's gonna give us a berry, peach berry, just like the other person. We got a peach berry, so. And my other Pokemon are falling behind because my Herdier and my uh, Pansy are fainted now. Sock and Biwa are getting all the fame. They're like three or four, three, about four levels higher than my other Pokemon already, so we found this guy right here, and I'm pretty sure this guy has the fossil. I can sense it. I know this guy definitely has the fossil. And he has three Pokemon to start it off, so let's start the battle. Pack Trap, level 14. This is going to be pretty easy. Just send on my sock and just low sweep him. But uh, he goes for Detect. So I just go for Low Sweep again. And one hit KO. So another level 14 Patron. Low Sweep. And one hit KO again. And this time he's gonna send out a sand dial. And I'm going to switch out into D-Watt. D-Watt the sand dial slayer. And so my D-Watt's paralyzed and Sand Dial's intimidate lowers D-Watt's attack, but Luckily, I have Water Gun, so I'll just go for Water Gun. Water Gun's a special attack. And there goes Sand Dial. I knew it. I knew he had the fossil. He had it all along, didn't he? So we just got our Dragon Skull Fossil back. And now he's talking about dreams and here comes one of the seven sages. And here comes Berg, the Castellia City Gym Leader. He's here to help us, and here comes the Nacrian City Gym Leader, Lenora. So now they're gonna leave because they're outnumbered three to two and they don't wanna fight us. That's pretty lame if you think about it because they were just about to pulverize us until those two guys came to protect us. So Team Plasma leaves. And now we got here Berg and Lenora. So Berg's going to be waiting for us at Castella City for our challenge. Which will probably be next time and Lenora is going to reward us because we went through so much trouble to get her fossil back. And because we're a kind trainer, she's going to give us a Moonstone. Certain Pokemon evolve with the Moonstone. So, Laura's gonna leave, and that's pretty much it, guys. This has been a long episode, a long adventure through the forest, and I think I'm going to end the episode here. So yeah, guys, comment, rate, subscribe. And I will see you next episode.